Now that the pockets are assembled, you are ready to prepare the webbing and attach it. It will become the handles of your tote bag. Find the webbing you purchased. It should measure three and a half yards or 126 inches. It should be between three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half wide. Fold the entire length of webbing in half. Check to be sure there are no twists in your webbing. Use a ruler to measure one inch in from the short edge and draw a line. With the edges even, pin the two layers together along this line. Find the halfway point in your length of webbing and mark it vertically with a safety pin. With a stitch length of three, straight stitch with the sewing machine across the webbing along the line. Back stitch at both ends. Use the iron to carefully press the seam open. Find the flat lined bag body piece, iron flat if needed. Place the flat lined bag body right side up on the cutting table. Find the notch marking the center of the bottom. Place a pin here so that you can see it from the right side. Place the webbing with the seam allowance down against the right side of the bag body. Line up the seam in the webbing with the pin at the center. The outer edge of the webbing should line up with the strap placement line you thread traced earlier. Pin the webbing in place. Continue to pin the webbing in place along the line until you reach the top edge of the bag. Turn the bag to the wrong side and measure one inch down from the top stitch line. Push a pin through here, then use a second pin to mark that on the other side. This will be where you should stop sewing. Remove the first pin. Repeat on the opposite side. Find the center notch on the other side of the bag body. Line up the safety pin in the webbing with this center notch. Pin the webbing in place. The outer edge of the webbing should line up with the strap placement line. Continue to pin the webbing in place along this line until you reach the edges. Mark one inch down from the stitch line. A loop of additional webbing should hang off the end of each side, creating a handle. Set the sewing machine stitch width to zero and stitch length to three and a half for top stitching. Place one strap underneath the presser foot. Line up the edge of the webbing with the inner edge of the presser foot. The needle should be even with the pin marking one inch down. Hold the beginning threads and stitch two or three stitches. Back stitch two or three stitches and continue sewing about a sixteenth of an inch in from the edge of the webbing. Continue until you reach the pin marking one inch down from the other edge. Backstitch before removing the work and clipping your threads.
return to the top and stitch in the same manner on the other side of the strap. Then stitch down both sides of the other strap. Now that the webbing is in place, you are ready to attach the pockets to the outside of the bag.